Hello and welcome to Creative by Nature. My name is Donna. Today we are going to be doing a Dollar Tree DIY, a Trash to Treasure, and a Dollar Store DIY. We will be using some gold leaf as well as some gold leaf adhesive. I will have available links to any of these supplies down in the description box along with any other supplies that we will be using. Okay, so we are going to start by applying the gold leaf adhesive randomly onto your glass vase. Now you can go on with a solid coat if you'd like your vase to be solid gold but I wanted to go for a patchy look. Once you have the desired coverage, set aside and let dry. Now we're going to move on to the wood beads. I am putting my wood beads onto a paintbrush and I'm going to randomly apply the adhesive onto the wood beads. Set aside in the jar and let dry. Now for the thrifted wood bowl, I am going to randomly disperse the adhesive on the back side of my wood bowl. Set aside to dry. You will know that it is dry when the adhesive is tacky to the touch. I'm going to be using some metallic flakes and applying it to the adhesive on the wood bead. Once you have enough foil on, you're going to use a soft rag and remove the excess and that will polish up the foil as well as remove any of the remaining tackiness of the adhesive. Do the same for all your wood beads. Okay, now I'm going to apply some of the foil flakes onto my clear glass vase. Here I am using the soft rag to remove any of the excess and it will also again remove any of the remaining tackiness from the adhesive. Okay, now I am going to use gold foil sheet. You can see that the color is a little different, but that is okay with me. I am going to apply the gold sheet to the underside of the wood bowl. Apply more foil sheets as needed. Again, using a soft rag, remove any of the excess and polish up the foil. And again, removing any of the remaining tackiness from the adhesive. Now I'm gonna apply a little bit of the adhesive to the rim of the wood bowl. Again, I'm just going to go in a random pattern. Let dry till tacky. Now I'm going to just add some little flakes to the rim of the bowl. Again, using the soft cloth, remove any of the excess and the tackiness. OK, 
Okay, now I am going to take some jute twine and cut two long pieces and set them aside. Now I'm going to take some of the string and wrap it around my hand approximately 20 times. Using one of the long strands, I am going to tie off my loops and then cut through the loops to form a tassel. Okay, using my other long strand, I am going to wrap around the top end of my tassel. I am okay with my knot being shown as I find that it doesn't affect the look of my tassel. Uh, there are many techniques on YouTube giving demonstrations on how to make tassels. off any excess. Now I like to take a bit of tape and tape off the ends and I find that just makes it easier to thread my beads on. Add as many beads as you'd like in any pattern that you like. Here I have my first bead hiding the top knot of my tassel. Once done applying the beads, I tie off the top with a knot and I'm adding just one extra knot just to have a loop for hanging. And there you have it. Three beautiful and simple DIYs to give that boho feel to any room decor. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below in the description box. And here I have a few ideas on how I have stylized these pieces. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.